This week's video is making Chinese eggplant. And now eggplant is typically a low calorie vegetable and it provides a lot of fiber and a range of nutrients in itself. And typically we can see that eggplant is actually served as a baked grill, fried or a boiled vegetable and is used as a garnish or in stew. But this time around we're going to make a stir fry dish. So let's get into it. So these two brinjals right here have been washed and towel dried. And now we can start to cut them into thin slices. So just make sure to remove the stalk first. So cut open the middle, cut it into another half again. So this is roughly the size that I'll be doing for this dish. Just do the same for the other two. Once everything is cut, it'll be put into this bowl. Now, in order to preserve the eggplant, we'll be adding in salt. One teaspoon as well as vinegar one teaspoon as well so the reason why we are adding in vinegar is in order to preserve the color of the eggplant and the salt is actually being added in so that not too much oil is absorbed when we are deep frying it so once you've added in the salt and the vinegar, then mix everything well. And we'll just leave this for a bit, for about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, we can move on to prepare the rest of the ingredients for this dish. And now prepping for the rest of the ingredients, here I have the dried chilies, two dried chilies which I've already chopped. Then we have five cloves of garlic that we'll need to cut into slices first. And now we have ginger. I'll be using one inch of ginger and you'll just roughly cut it into thin slices. Scallion. Cut it into pieces like this. Alright, so now to make the sauce, we'll be needing a couple of ingredients 
cornstarch, water, light soy sauce, sugar, as well as oyster sauce which I've already added in. So uh, oyster sauce I'm using one tablespoon and now I'll be adding in light sauce. Light sauce will be one tablespoon as well. Add in sugar, two teaspoons, a little bit of cornstarch, also known as potato starch, just roughly about quarter teaspoon, and now mix everything, not forgetting to add in three tablespoons of water. Just mix everything. All right, so now we can start cooking it. Now we can just take a tablespoon of cornstarch and just mix the brinjal, the eggplant with it. And when you see that the eggplant has already been covered with the cornstarch, then we can take another tablespoon of cornstarch just mix everything again we don't want to add too much at the beginning and that's why we add in a tablespoon cover it make just mix everything well and then add in another tablespoon so that it's not too much on one so in total we added in two tablespoons of cornstarch now we'll be deep frying the eggplant that the oil is already heated up. We can then add in the eggplant. Make sure to add it in one by one. We don't want to add everything together because if you add everything together, it's going to stick. And that's why you need to add in one by one. Alright, so we actually have a lot left to be made, but because we have limited space, so we're going to do it in a few batches to fry it. Now, in the meantime, the majority of the egg sun has already been fried, so we can start taking it out when it becomes a little brown. Right here, this is actually how it all looks when it's already been fried. Now I've added in the second batch of eggplant to be fried. First batch right here. And we'll just leave it in for a couple of minutes just to let it fry. Well, after frying the eggplant, I've already removed the oil and just keep a little bit. We don't want too much because the eggplant is already deep fried. And now we can just add in the garlic as well as the ginger. Fry it for a little bit. And now I can add in dried chilies as well as the scallion stir stir for a bit just a 
couple of seconds later, then we can add in the sauce that was made. And immediately after, you can add in the eggplant. So now we are going to stir it for only 30 seconds. So cooking it for more than 30 seconds will make it lose its crispiness. And once we've stirred it, so that is it. Your dish is already done. You can then off the fire and serve it out. And the dish is already ready, but for garnishing, if you want to make it a little bit more presentable, you can add in red chilies as well as spring onions just for garnishing purposes. And this right here is Chinese eggplant made at home. Absolutely delicious. It took a really short time to make this. And we really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, do make sure to give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.